Well, hi folks. I hope everybody's keeping well. It's been a while since I've sat in front of the camera and spoke to my YouTube audience. Feels weird to be back, but good. Um, main reason I've not put out as much content on social media and um, especially YouTube over the last year is because I've got a young family. Um, and my daughter Mirren is not long turned two. And my son Harris, he's five now, so I've been spending a lot of precious time with the kids, which I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, some of you might have noticed that the studio in the, behind me here has had a full makeover as well. Um, I've spent a few months acoustically and professionally treating this room. Um, I've also been writing a lot of music in my spare time. But that's not to say I've lost my passion for creating videos for YouTube and photography. It's far from it, in fact. And I've been out on quite a few trips recently, which I've thoroughly enjoyed. And I've got a backlog of a few videos that I'm looking forward to editing. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. Without further ado, let's head to Bridge of Orkey, where my brother Alan and I set up camp and woke up in a winter wonderland the following morning. Alan and I are back at a spot not far from Bridge of Orkey that we attempted to camp at in um, August and we had to abandon this trip because of the midges. Ah. Look man, look at my legs. No, I can't go in my tent like this man. Nah, no chance. Holy shit. Picture on the floor that man. So, this is the midges that's inside the tent. The door was open for a split second. There's about a thousand midges inside this tent. I don't know if you can see them in the camera or not, but... Oh my god. The worst smidge advert. <laughs> Does not work at all. <laughs> I need to move inside this car. Go. I'm, I'm not brave enough to take it. Go and video my t shirt, look at it. <laughs> go. Oh, everywhere, man. Oh my god. Oh, oh fucking hell. <laughs> this is absolute torture, you drive. That was hands down the worst experience I've had camping. <laughs> we abandoned the trip and had to drive back down the road at half past twelve. Luckily, um, we weren't we weren't drinking. Well, Alan doesn't drink anyway, but luckily I wasn't half canned because <laughs> I was driving. But we left at midnight and came back down the road. Um, it was horrendous, really, really bad. I've never experienced anything like that in my life before. Anyway, we're back. We're back again at the same spot this time in winter where we don't need to worry about midges or ticks so it's all good <laughs> so we're back here again this wasn't the actual plan we've got the canoe on the car we've parked to lift the car at Inverloran I was planning to canoe out camping on Scottish Island but the weather was just been too wild um, it's too choppy so we've decided to come here it's cold but we've got the wind break up which is taking the edge off the wind but it is cold you'll probably hear it on the camera Enjoying it, Alan? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a great spot. It really is. We actually thought it was going to be flooded because you said there's been some heavy rain. Yep. But it's um, it's decent. It's perfect. This wind breaks helping a lot. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> it's good to be back. Cheers. Good to be back out.
Well, how was that last night? Cold? Um, it was cold when we were sitting out there, there was like a wee breeze, so it was quite cold. But you honestly can't really complain, and you know it's nearly December. Surprisingly comfortable in the tent. Quite surprised to wake up to what was cons or what was described as light snow. <laughs> it's definitely quite a bit of snow. Um, but it is, it is cold now, as soon as you stand about, feet are starting to freeze up. Looks like the lake's frozen a bit. Sounds so English. I've lived in England too long. The loch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the view we had last night. We sat on the two chairs looking right out to the stars last night. Absolutely amazing. Although chairs are frozen solid this morning. What a morning to wake up to, check this out. Absolutely spectacular. Yeah, I'm sure just up a few pictures, a few videos, and we're going to get a coffee. I'm going to show you how to make a decent coffee while wild camping in the winter. Minus two. Let's do it. There's only one thing left to do, sit back, drink our coffee and just savour being out in this wonderful winter wonderland.
if you're still here at the end of the video, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've got a few videos to work my way through a backlog of trips. So I'll hopefully get a few more videos out over the next coming weeks. I've also got a few trips planned up north over the festive period, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. So anyway, all the best and I'll catch you soon. Cheers. Cheers folks. I <laughs> got it in me. <laughs> <laughs>